Yo, Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking at the uh, taking a look at the Walmart and Pulse exclusive uh, retro Zartan, who came pretty minty. I actually dropped him a little. That is my fault, believe it or not. Uh, but he was packaged very carefully with Storm Shadow. Uh, in the same box, it's kind of crazy that Pulse didn't ship them separately, which they normally do with newer products, uh, which lends a little bit of credence to my theory that these have been sitting around for a while. Uh, and as far as I know, Walmart has shown no sign of shipping theirs, putting them on shelves, or anything. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, Pulse always have that Pulse order as a backup when you're playing your pre-order roulette. Uh, card is, you know, flimsy garbage. Uh, I really wish these were as sturdy as the Marvel Legends retros, but they're not. Uh, the file card is five different languages, not great, but we do have the cross cell, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, there you go. The card is what it is. I think if Hasbro had put more effort into making this card appealing, I'd be buying two of all these. One to open and one to leave on the big giant card back, because big giant card backs are awesome if they're sturdy and they feature great art. Um, these seem to feature doctored images of the figure itself, which is not exciting uh, or appealing. So anyway, let's open him up. I'll be doing a comparison with other Zartan figures from the classified line, as well as the original Zartan figure. Although this, unlike some of the other retros that they've put out, uh, this Zartan is not meant to uh, pay tribute to the original 1984 Zartan figure. Uh, this one is supposed to be a little more Sunbow influenced. Not, you know, not a hundred percent, but uh, inspired. Uh, paying homage to some of the uh, features that Zartan had in those cartoons. And I do believe right off the bat this is going to be my preferred classified Zartan. All right, let's get these accessories out of the way and take a look at the figure. So uh, this immediately going, I don't care for this scarf on my Zartan, so we're going to get rid of that. And he's got a little schmutz on his chin there, which will probably cut, well, may have already partially come right off, but yeah, a little not, not too terribly much work we'll be able to get that off. Uh, but his face paint, I think, looks phenomenal. I think it did a really nice job on that. I love the green eyes. Look, I'm doing it, I'm already, I already have a new habit. Uh, if you can tell, his eyes are green, which I think looks great, and is that, that sunbow nod that I was talking about. Uh, and I love this blue on his armor, uh, just because it makes the figure pop, it's not necessarily that I think a more realistically styled Zartan should have blue armor, and it does not make me find flaw with the other Zartan's armors. Uh, it's just that, you know, on the shelf, this blue is more toyetic and more eye-catching than just the black or steel armor, or brown armor, is that what I'm looking at? I haven't looked at that original Zartan in a minute. Ugh. Uh, he has the mismatched elbows, which is unfortunate. I really, 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 really want Hasbro to get a handle on that because it is such an eyesore. Yes, there are worse problems a figure could have, but those are pretty bad. Uh, everything moves pretty nicely. Not having any trouble with any of the joints or anything, so that's good. Uh, and of course he still has the uh, pivot right there that they've taken out of more recent releases, which I think is one of the biggest mistakes they've made in the classified line so far, is removing that joint. Uh, he looks great, but we gotta know how does he compare to, first of all, the original Retail Zartan release, which I really dig as an update, but there are a number of things about this one that, in retrospect, I don't love. I don't love the brown on his... I don't like how brown he is. He's way too brown. Uh, 
I'm not going to bother taking his mask off because we're going to take a look at the Master of Disguise Zartan in a minute. Uh, but you can see this Zartan has a different skin tone, like intentionally different. Uh, this one is a little sort of, I don't know how to describe it. He, this one's pinker. This newer one is pinker. Uh, I like both skin tones for different reasons. But again, this one, the contrast between his armor and his green eyes and everything else makes this skin tone more interesting than this sort of uh, more washed out, I guess, skin tone, for lack of a better term. Uh, you can see a lot of the color detail. There's actually a lot more... A lot, uh, there are a lot more different colors in this retro version as well. They really did make this initial one kind of drab, which I think is maybe why people were so... Oh, and this is uh, Punisher's sawed-off shotgun, by the way. Uh, I, this is Artan sits on a motorcycle. Uh, Punisher's motorcycle on my shelf. That's why he looks the way he does. Uh, all right, so let's now take a look at the Master of Disguise Zartan, who obviously has an even more different skin tone because he's down here in the cold phantom zone where he constantly just has, uh, you know, it's colder than normal. So he's just a little different from his regular skin tone. Uh, much more colorful than that retail release. This one is great. I was delighted to get this one uh, because I think the silver on the armor looks great. Uh, just the brighter colors pop a lot more uh, and the color change feature while it's not what we wanted it is there and it is interesting uh, but then compared to this one uh, if I just had to pick one Zartan to have on the shelf I think I'd have to go with this guy he's just got a really good look but I'm happy to have this one because of how different it is because sometimes it's not about having the best version of a character it's about having different and interesting versions of a character. And if you're just going for repaints, I think they made really good choices with this new Retro Zartan. So uh, let's take a look at his accessories now, uh, because the, the accessories make the figure. This one, he's got the same belt, but he does not include the little voodoo totems or whatever they are, which is fine by me because I didn't put those on my figures anyway. Uh, I just they just weren't for me uh he has got a hood that is a little closer in color to what we treated and look at that look how much better he looks just once you put the hood on him isn't it funny the difference that makes uh but a little closer in color to our traditional zartan which by the way now that i think about it I guess this blue really is also a tribute to this one. I don't think any of my color change stickers still work, and I'm not going to take any of this delicate plastic apart to see. But these heat-sensitive stickers would turn sort of a dark bluish-greenish color. Oh, look, I think it, it actually did turn a little bit. I don't know if you can even see that. Let's, let's do it again. I guess this is going to be a regular part. Uh, of things, but look, you can see that sticker turned kind of a darkish blue, so really this is a little bit more of an homage uh, to the original Zartan than I was really thinking about, uh, because his thigh plates and that chest plate uh, with the application of heat do change color, and it's kind of a dark blue color. Uh, so he's got the shoulder plates done in kind of a, you know, the way that Classified would do them. Uh, the gloves, I kind of wish they'd given him little gloves instead of the, the forearm plates. And I'm trying to think who in the line might have little gloves like that. I don't know if we've gotten anybody. Well, Tomax and Zamot maybe, although I think they've got maybe wrist pieces on theirs. Uh, but I, it looks good. It looks good. I'm, I, the more I look at this one, the more I do like it. Uh, so we've got his hood on him with those green eyes. The green eyes are fantastic. Uh, and then we've got the traditional Zartan backpack. Now you'll notice this one has paint up here in the top portion, whereas oh, that one, I don't even have the backpack on him. The original retail release is just all black. 
So that's an important paint application uh, to have been added. And then this pops open and you've got paint apps on the inside as well. Where I think the story, that, I can't remember if Lenny said this or if we just kind of came up with it amongst ourselves as fans, that this is a synthesizer that creates these masks for Zartan. Uh, and this mask, you can see, has, it's not the full beard of the original figure, which I wish it was, uh, but it does have a little bit of facial hair, it does have a different look, and it fits right in there for storage, and also fits, oh, I almost just dropped that on the floor, that would have derailed everything. Uh, also, you can just squeeze it up under the hood there. It might be might have been easier to take the hood off and get uh, Let's do this There we go uh, and get whatever that's supposed to be <laughs> I Don't know why you would use such a sinister looking face uh, as your secret disguise, but whatever. Zartan's a weird dude. Okay. So let's get that. Okay. I want to get all. I get. Want to get him all geared up before we wrap everything up. Wrap everything up here. Uh, so we get the mask in the backpack. We get the backpack closed back up. Backpack peg fits in nice and secure. That's great. Uh, he includes this vicious looking little knife, which I like quite a bit. The blade is painted, which is a tremendous upgrade from some of the earlier stuff in Classified. Goes right into the sheath there on the back of his belt, uh, which by the way, his belt stays in place really nicely. It's actually glued uh, up here, so that works really well. Uh, and then finally, we have Zartan's traditional laser pistol. Looks, and yes, that's a repro. I'm, I'm in search of an original, uh, but casually in search of. Uh, but you can see, pretty, pretty close, pretty similar. It's going to fit right in his hand there. And I would love... For them to put a holster on his belt as well, but Zartan doesn't really have... I know he doesn't have a knife either, but he doesn't have a holster, and he does have this peg on his backpack uh, that you could put that gun on if you really wanted to, but I don't have either of my other Zartans displayed with a pistol, so he is going to keep that on the shelf. Uh, and then finally, we've got the stand. I don't know why Hasbro isn't just putting these up on Pulse to sell individually, but they're not. So what you end up with is your four, soon to be six, retro figures on stands, and the whole rest of your classified collection uh, not, which doesn't make any sense to anybody. Hasbro could just be making money on these stands. I bet if they sold them for a buck a piece, they'd be making money. So there you go, uh, the Retro Series Zartan looks great. I can see where some might think the blue armor is too much, and you know, I'm not even going to pretend to disagree with that, it's a lot. But as far as looking toyetic and being eye-catching on the shelf, it's great. Uh, and you can probably swap around some parts if you really wanted to. I'm not going to, that's not my, not my bag, but yeah. I'm happy with this guy, the guy with the disguises. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, uh, and remember, America runs from knocking. That's a thing I'm trying to get over. I'm, okay, fine. Cobra. Smash that like button if you like needless things. <laughs>